So you... Hey, I'm down here. So you decided to get a job. Congratulations! The first step of getting a job is deciding what kind of job you would like. You could be a pilot. You could be a doctor. Ah, but you could also be whatever that is. <laughs> there are so many options. You can find this information in the classifieds in the newspaper, at a job fair, even the growing power of the internet. Once you've picked out what job you would like, you then need to write a resume. A resume must have your name and of course your contact information on it so your employer can contact you if they like your resume. It must also be clear and concise. A hard to read resume is a bad resume. And of course, your resume needs to have all your great achievements on it. Go ahead and toot yourself up because you're your best cheerleader. After you complete your resume, the next step is to fill out the job application forms. I'm just kidding, there won't be nearly that many. In fact, it'll be quite easy. It is very important to fill out every form to the best of your abilities. You'll likely need to have all the important documents assigned to you, such as your social security card, your birth certificate, expired library card, and any other important identification. Now, the job interview is the most important part of the job process. You need to be well-dressed. You need to be well-mannered. And it's never a bad thing to be too rehearsed. Here are some tips on how to have a good interview. To start, a good handshake is vital. Make sure to show good eye contact. It shows confidence and that you're not afraid to work for the company. When answering questions, share your knowledge about the company. It'll show that you're dedicated. And that's really all there is to it. If you follow all those steps, you should have no trouble whatsoever with getting a job. Are we done? Are we done here? All right, Karen, get me a doggy treat. Let's go. Of course.